If you do plan on taking this mushroom for recreational purposes, then that would be a big mistake. Just a quick reminder, no drugs were used and no bands were armed in the making of this video. Don't try this at home, we're amateurs. Yes, yes, mom, I have my underwear. Hey guys, welcome to Go Back Homestead. I'm Mallory and... I'm Ben. Today we have a very, very different video for you guys. I know you guys are used to gardening content and homesteading content. This one is a little bit more of the foraging, personal experience that Ben has experienced with the Amanita mushroom. Please bear with us and brace for it. Now I bet you guys have this mushroom at home because it grows almost everywhere around the world. Just not many people are brave enough to share their experiences. I think he's very brave to do this. I'm very proud of you. He put a lot of work into this. So take it away, Ben. Welcome to your dose of random facts with Ben's Corner. As you see in the title today, I will be sharing information and personal experiences of consuming this world-renowned psychedelic mushroom that everybody says it's poison. This fungi is called the Amanita muscaria, aka fly agaric. The variety Guess Hawaii is the northeastern yellow version that grows in my area in Quebec, Canada. You are most likely to come across the red version of that mushroom, which frankly has been spotted in many cultural references, such as in the very popular video game franchise, the Mario Brothers, who actually eats lots of Amanita to become stronger. Other big video games have featured this mushroom also, like Assassin's Creed, The Witcher, and the Elder Scrolls series like Skyrim. Not what I was expecting. You can also see the Amanita muscaria in all its glory in these popular Disney and children movies like Alice in Wonderland, Fantasia, and the Smurfs. There are many more, but let me show you this clip of Saturday Night Live that shows in a very creative way the Amanita. I will reference this book called The Encyclopedia of Psychoactive Plant by Christian Ratch because it's a gold mine of verified information. The science. Now, for the science behind this mushroom. Wait, what do I know about science? I'm just a farmer. Let's go talk with Mr. Wab to consume his knowledge. It's Mr. Wab time! I can share this knowledge clearly, since all you know is shoveling manure and fixing tractors, right? My name is Wise and Bright, also known as Mr. Wab, but my girlfriend called me Wise as Ben. <laughs> there is no exact dose recommended using this medicine of fruits. You will see while you do your research. No one really gives the same amount to ingest. Growing conditions, area of growth, and natural tolerances of your body are factors that make it hard to pinpoint the proper dose. The Amanita constituent include ibotenic acid, which is then converted into muscimol. Muscimol is one of the psychoactive compounds responsible for the effects of Amanita muscaria intoxication. Our body can convert ibotenic acid to muscimol, but in order to do so, your body will most likely purge out this toxin and make you sick and vomit along the way! Yoo -hoo! In order to process the mushroom properly to avoid this, it's better to dry the mushroom or cook it or help eliminate the toxin prior to ingestion. Or help eliminate the toxin prior to ingestion. Or help eliminate the toxin prior to ingestion. Muscimol is a patent GABA A antagonist activating the receptor for the brain's principal inhibitory neurotransmitter GABA A. It has some correlation with alcohol. Party party! Know that I've been recorded from overdoses of this mushroom, but accident can happen under the influence. Muscimol is a substance that will get eliminated through your urine without altering chemical properties. 
which means, yes, your ring will remain active and has been used in the past for not wasting the good stuff. Shamans in Siberia knew this and would collect the golden elixir of the reindeers that had consumed this mushroom and, drum roll please, use it. Sometimes hallucinating flying reindeers. I guess the word flying can take different meaning. Here's a little Siberian story of how I think Santa came to exist. If you want to know more on this topic, go see the channel After School, video titled The Magic Mushroom Christmas Theory. I will share some clips from that video while I tell part of the story. Certain tribes were known to go gather red and white mushrooms at winter solstice and they would climb the little houses covered with snow and hang the shrooms by the chimney hole to dry them. The kids would all be waiting nervously for the shaman to arrive with red and white gifts. The shaman would also hang the mushroom on the branches of a fir to dry them. That decorated the tree with beautiful red and white decorations. Red, white, cloaked, bearded shaman with flying reindeer? Rings a bell? Anyone? Amenita and Christianism. Now, I'm not saying this is facts or that I believe all of this but I think it is very interesting lore. John Allegro, writer of The Sacred Mushroom and the Cross, is a good reference if this topic speaks to you. Let's just say that the Amenita muscaria, also known as fly agaric, can be made into wine and that particular substance can easily be multiplied by adding water without getting diluted. Story has it that Jesus produced the miracle called feeding the multitude he was given five loaves of bread and two fish and he managed to feed 5,000 people with only that. There is a theory of an Amenita culture that feeds on a specific kind of bread, turning it into more bread. How he did with the fish though? Hmm, I have no idea. We call mushrooms the part that pops out of the ground, but to be accurate, we should call it the fruit. Mushrooms are way more than just their fruits. They are humongous networks underground called mycelium. Did you know that the largest living organism is a fungus and it is 37 acres or 15 hectares big? Want to know more on this? Check out the link below. All shared link information will be included in the description below. Is that how your focus will be when bullets start raining? You little mushroom wanker! Get your head in the game, you soldier! Was that really necessary? Yeah, I guess I did get sidetracked for a moment there. Well, back to the presentation now. Shrooms, like Amenita muscaria, are symbiotic with actual trees. And when you eat the fruits, new perspectives will be revealed. See anything related with the forbidden fruit or the tree of knowledge of evil and good? Many religious art pieces have been found in our history today. And the Amenita muscaria shows up quite a bit. If you intend to ingest this mushroom medicinally, I will highly recommend doing your research first. There are very good channels out there with lots of valuable information you need to learn before using it. Amanita Dreamer, for example, has a good catalog and shares everything you need to know about it. I use it regularly for pain management and its sleep inducing properties. It can also be processed into a balm for pain, but I haven't tried it in that way yet. I am way too chicken to put this in my mouth at high doses. As they say, poison is in the dose, just like any medicine. But today we are fortunate enough to have a druid with us and he has used it once for spiritual purposes. I did try it for psychoactive spiritual purposes and I feared for my life. It is potent medicine. It took me at least an hour before feeling the need to sleep and when I woke up several minutes after, I began speaking in tongue. Now, if you don't know what speaking in tongue is, look it up. It's pretty fascinating. Mahandariya Kasa, worship the Lord, worship the Lord, for the Lord demands a worship right now. This is the only part I do not remember of the whole night. My wife was there to remind me of real. 
reality and observe and document the experience for safety purposes. Of course, there is footage of this that you could have access to in a membership only section or our future only fan. Wink wink. <laughs> First thing I remember was being stuck in a time loop, time loop, time loop. Like events happening right now were shown with the delay in my brain. Over and over and over. Causing me to realize I was late from the present reality. The time loop is best described as a loop of acceptance and death and that the reality is an illusion. It was no fun but very eye-opening then what happened was truly mind-blowing. Brace for it! God! Or at least a higher power in my subconscious showed me that we create our own reality. That was the peak of my vision and it was slowly followed by calming down for a few hours. I ended up being a little sick just like vomiting. When I finally went to bed, it took about 8 hours for me to come all the way down. I was tired, but I had zero after effect or hangover whatsoever. If you do plan on taking this mushroom for recreational purposes, man, that would be a big mistake. I don't think I will ever try this again, but I have to say, in terms of spiritual growth, this one made my top three. This experience made a believer out of me. Is that a wrap? Yes, that's a wrap. See, I told you everyone, I have a real girlfriend. Mm. Oh! Thank you guys so much for being here with the Ben's Corner. I know it was a little bit out of the blue, but you know what? Ben has been really putting a lot of work into this and I'm really proud of him. And I hope you guys don't unsubscribe because of this. Because <laughs> there's more to come. Oh yeah, there is more to come. Thank you guys. Bye! See you! Love you!